today. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. I appreciate you. Thank you if you have subscribed. I appreciate you. If you have not subscribed, please do before you continue and hit the bell so that you know when we upload new videos. Hmm. Now, every one of us and everybody listening to me today wants to succeed in life. True? Any one of us, yeah, want to live a life that is happy, wants to live a life that is healthy, yeah? wants to do meaningful work. All of us want to enjoy what we do. And so all of us want to be successful. And success means different things to different people. What is success to you? <laughs> Some people will tell you, I know I've succeeded if I'm rich. Others will tell you, I know I've succeeded if I live in a good place. But for me, success is when you live a purposeful life. We all want to positively impact the people around us. We all want to ensure that we do something wonderful in our lives. Yeah? So we all want to succeed. And by the way, you need to understand that the limits to your success are self-imposed. Okay? In other words, success purely depends on you. Okay? Your success is in your hands. Because we all have the potential and the ability to succeed and do things in our lives. Success is not for the chosen view. No. Success is for any one of us. Mm. I actually believe I'm successful in my own way. And guess what? I was born in the village. I went to a school without shoes. I went to a high school. <laughs> I love my high school. I went to the university from a village school, okay? What am I saying? I'm just trying to tell you success is for any one of us. You have the potential, you have the ability to succeed. Don't give excuses. It doesn't matter where you are born. Success is in your hands. Remove those mental blockades, those mental limitations. That you can't succeed because your father did not succeed. You know, I've had people saying, oh, you know, you're thinking of buying a car. Yeah, there's nobody with a bicycle in your home. So what? Stop listening to that nonsense. You can succeed, okay? Allow me to give you a few tips. Some of them I've used. Because as I said, I believe I'm successful in my own way, yeah? So you must decide. Eh? You must decide. Yeah, because somebody said if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. And if you can dream it, you can become it. So imagine it. And by the way, if you watch my previous video, it's about imagination. Fear is imagination, just a success. If you can imagine it, you can achieve it. What are you imagining, by the way? <laughs> you know, there are people who are fond of imagining bad things. Some of you are imagining the way they will lose their jobs. They are imagining the way Corona is, blah, blah, blah. Uh -uh. Start imagining success. You will achieve it. Dream it. You will get it. A few tips. One, aim high. Successful people will set ambitious goals. And even successful businesses, by the way, aim high. Yeah? Because if you aim for the moon, if you don't get to the moon, huh? You will land among stars, okay? So aim high. Number two, do things differently. You will not succeed when you do the same thing the same way. If you do the same thing the same way, I can assure you the results will be the same. So you've got to do things different. Even as a business, begin to do things differently. You will succeed. Surround yourself. With the right people. Hmm? What kind of friends do you have? Yeah? Surround with yourself with people who will motivate you, 
people who will inspire you, not people who bring you down, not people who discourage you. You tell them you have a dream, they discourage you. And allow me to quote the good book. I'm of the opinion that you don't need to share your dreams with anybody. Avoid this, uh, this uh, eat a beer. Eh? You're always putting everything on Facebook, what you are doing, where you're going. My friend, Joseph found himself in trouble. I know most preachers, because I am one, I've always preached on how God's favor was upon Joseph, which is true. He was able to come out of the pit. You see, if Joseph just kept the dream to himself, God would have still, uh, God will have, would have still, um, you know, fulfilled the dream. What do you think, preachers? So sometimes we never succeed because we are sharing everything everywhere. And you don't know. You don't know who is against you. So surround you with the right, surround yourself with the right people. People who motivate you, people who inspire you. The fourth tip. Eh? Adapt brilliantly. Huh? What does that mean? The environment in which you're living, whether you are a person, whether you are business, is dynamic. The environment is changing. You've got to adapt, my friend. If you don't adapt, you become a misfit in the environment. So adapt brilliantly. Then live your life your way. You see, you don't succeed by living other people's lives, by living other people's dreams. Huh? Yeah? Live your life your own way. Don't look for validations. You know, people have... Um, most people and most outsiders think they know what is best for you. No. You know what is best for you. Remember I said, success is in your hands. It is not in the hands of your parents. It is not in the hands of your employer. It is in your hands. Yeah? Then take ownership of what you do. You don't delegate your life to other people. Take ownership. If you want to do business, take ownership. If you want to uh, be a consultant like me, take ownership of what you do. That's the only way you can succeed. In other words, be there. Then build your expertise, skills, skills, continuous learning. Some of you, after you finished high school you, you, you and you got some little money, you're like, ah, he must almost to achieve kinamugo. No, 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 no. Build your expertise. You need to have the skills. Remember, the environment is changing. Yeah, you need to invest in your growth, okay? Yeah? Then put time and energy. Hmm? You don't succeed by sleeping and doing nothing. No. Even when you pray, even when you have faith, for those who read the good book, the Bible says faith without actions is dead. You will not succeed by sitting down and wallowing and complaining and praying. Put time and energy. I'm serious. Faith without action is dead. Are we together? Believers, put action to your faith. Do something. If you are looking for a job, do your CV and do it well. Apply jobs, you know. You don't sit there and hope that a job will show up. It will not. Take time and energy and effort and do that thing that you want to do. Then finally for today, cultivate specific traits. Yeah, These are the traits of highly successful people. You must be committed to what you do. Yeah, You must be faithful in what you're doing. Even the Bible. Actually, the Bible says God gives favor to those who are faithful. Are you faithful? Are you committed to what you're doing? Yeah? Be open-minded. Some of you, your minds are closed. You only think the only way you can succeed is by working for someone else. By the way, when you work for someone else, you are making their dream to come through. Be open-minded. If you've lost your job, start something. Do a hustle. Okay? Be open-minded. 
be persistent success is not overnight you don't succeed overnight no it takes time okay so you must be persistent you must be flexible yeah cultivate that be flexible you you, you don't you know you know sometimes you tell people you need to do this or the other and they are not flexible they think that they are you can't even businesses must be adaptable corona has taught us a lot of things corona has taught us we can work from home corona has taught businesses that you don't need big offices these days even journalists are doing it from home home edition eh? be flexible if you want to succeed okay and of course the good book have faith faith is the substance of things hoped for things not seen hebrews Hmm? You must have faith in what you're doing. Believe in yourself. Believe in what you're doing. You know, if you don't believe in yourself, it's very, very difficult for people to believe in you and to believe in what you're doing. Yeah? Be thankful. Be grateful. People who succeed in life are thankful people. They are people who are grateful. Hey, my friend, this world is made of many ungrateful people. Maybe Kenyans. I don't know about the other worlds. But in Kenya, even if you killed yourself for people, they will still be very ungrateful. They will even think you are not doing enough. My friend, you will never succeed. Be thankful. Be grateful for what God has done for you and what people do for you. Because people, relationship is everything. I keep saying it is relationship that will take you to heaven. Be grateful. Yeah? Have a passion for what you do. Hmm? Do you have a passion for what you're doing? When you wake up to go to work in the morning, do you have passion for that? Do you have passion for what you're doing? Do you have passion, you know, for the things that you do? Very, very important. Have courage. Be courageous. People who succeed in life are courageous. They, they don't fear. Hmm? Check out my video on fear. They don't fear. They are courageous. When they decide to do something, they do it. Yeah? Have the willpower. Have the willpower. Hmm? And most importantly, have integrity. You will not succeed unless you are a person of integrity. And I've heard people saying what integrity is, but let me tell you what is integrity. And you can check out my video on leadership and integrity. Integrity is honoring your word. Do you honor your word? Even customers appreciate people who honor their word. What is honoring your word? Honoring your word is keeping your word. If you tell somebody you will do something, do it. And if you're not doing it, you tell them you will not be doing it. And clean up the mess. That is what we call integrity. Successful people are people with integrity. There are people with the drive. Do you have a drive for what you do? Yeah? There are people who are patient. I said success is not overnight. How patient are you? Because if you are not patient, you will start stealing. <laughs> you will start, uh, you know, falsifying mileage. You will start, you know, using uh, organization cars for things that are not correct. And you start even, uh, you know, recruiting uh, people who are not qualified or your clan. You must be patient. That's not success, okay? And you must be optimistic. You must believe that the best is coming. I have said that many times in my videos. You must always hope for the best. Yeah? Be optimistic. Don't be negative. Don't, you know, have negative energy. Yeah? Don't be toxic. Eh? Check out the video on toxic people. And finally for today, be ambitious. Yeah? Be ambitious. If you're not ambitious, you'll never be a successful. You, you, you just live there in the comfort zone, okay? So you can succeed. Your business can succeed because success is in your hands. Are we together? I hope this video has changed your life. And if it has, like it, mm -hmm, share it, and subscribe. And before I finish, I am an author. I am an author. I have authored three books. This is my latest book, How to Thrive and Influence Your Workplace. If you are working anywhere in any organization, this book is for you. 
This book will tell you about workplace politics, will tell you about gossip, will tell you about toxic people, will tell you about empowerment, responsibility, uh, harassment, and many other things that you experience every day in your workplace. And this book is only going for 1,500 shillings in Kenya, including delivery. We deliver where you are, okay? If you're outside this country, get it at Amazon. That is my latest book. I've also another book, Growing Business uh, Empire. And this book is forwarded by one Manu Chadaria. And this book is for any person who has a family business. This book is highly recommended. It's been bought by serious family businesses because this book is about succession planning. Will your business outlive you? Yeah. Check out my video on Founder Syndrome. This book will help you. It's going for 1,500 in Kenya, including delivery. Outside Kenya, get it in Amazon. And my first book, a very few copies remaining, less than 20, is The Winning Strategy. This book is for any CEO, any business person. If you want to win out there, this is the book for you. This book goes for 1,500 in Kenya at the moment. Uh, uh, in Amazon is 2,000, but I'm giving it at an offer. Make your offer today. You will not regret. These are books that have been written through inspiration and research. Okay? Now, if you want any of those books, call this number. 0776-045-087. Or you can do an email. Info at merimugo.com. If you are an organization and you are looking for a consultant in the areas of strategy, human resource, motivation, call that number. I wish I'll be there. Thank you very much. God bless you.